there is Adrian Hauser. I'll tell you, first inning troubles are always a concern when Hauser is on the mound, and you couldn't have a more delicate first inning with Judge Anton and Torres leading the way. Chops slowly to third. Peterson charges, bare hands, fires the scoop by Tellez, but it's an infield single for Aaron Judge. And that one is ripped. That's a base hit to left center. Cut off in the gap by Mitchell. Judge is rounding third. He'll stop right there. And it's a double for Torres as his hot streak continues. And it's second, third, and one out. Donaldson into tonight's game. 13 home runs, 52 driven in. Fly ball. Deep left center. That ball is caught at the wall. Tagging his judge, he'll score. Moving to third is Torres. It's a sack fly for Donaldson. And the Yankees lead 1 0. Yankee run is first and third. Here's Kana Falefa. Ground ball, it's a base hit. One run scores. Cabrera is at third. He'll stop there. It's an RBI single for Kana Falefa. And it's 2 0 Yankees. Well, that was an outstanding piece of hitting. Three hits and a walk in this inning. 2 0 Yankees. Gonzalez has been mired in a long slump. Up the middle and through for a base hit. Cabrera scores. IKF will stop at second. It's an RBI single for Gonzalez, and it's 3 0 Yanks. Frankie the Yankee, 5 and 12, 3.89, about a strikeout per inning. Well, first time he's never faced the Brewers, so he should have a little bit of advantage that the hitters haven't seen his fastball and also his nasty split. And the pitch. Swinging and a line drive, base hit to the gap in left center. Telez is going to hold at second on the pickup. Oh, Hunter Renfro wasted no time, partner. A clean single into left center field. Two men are on here in the first. Three, two, two outs. And there they go. And Wong breaks his bat. Slow roll into Donaldson. Bare hands. No chance. And the bases are loaded. Infield hit for Colton Wong. Chop the third. Donaldson will step on the bag. Montas works into and out of trouble. Gives up two hits. Brewers leave the bases loaded. Now we go to the top of the second inning already. Yankees have a three nothing lead in Milwaukee. Ended the inning with the bases loaded. Check swing. Oh, it's going well for Judge. A base hit. As Hicks will stop at second. Judge is two for two. This is when you just wave the white flag. Every time he's up, okay, I give up. It was like cricket. That was a cricket swing. His teammates are amazed too. Three nothing Yankees are in the second. Bases loaded, one man out. The pitch is swung on. Soft ground ball to short. Flip to second. There's one on to first. Not in time, and the ball gets loose. And Judge scores. And on to second goes Donaldson. Now the Yankees score two more runs and take a five nothing lead. It's a huge mistake by the Brewers. Five nothing New York on six hits, and William Damas, who drew a walk his first time as the batter. Oh, there it goes. William Dallas will watch it fly. A three run blast. Number 29. And the Brewers with one swing of the bat right back in it. Five to three Yankees. Well, they needed that. So when the Brewers need a moment, William Dallas gives them one. Well, that is enough for Aaron Boone. 79 pitches, nothing came easy. So the Yankees will have to piece this together through the bullpen. Montas goes three and a third. Runner first, his responsibility. Tying man on base for Milwaukee, Willie Adamas, the go ahead run at the plate. And a three run home run in his last plate appearance in the second. Swing and a line drive towards right. Back, still back, and it's over the head of the right fielder. It bounces on the warning track and goes over the fence for an automatic double. Garrett Mitchell will be awarded home. Cabrera just kept on going back and back and back and got twisted around. No chance for him to make the catch. And the Yanks with a 5 nothing lead have dissipated all but one run. Now second and third. Here is Rowdy Telez. Suddenly the Brewers within a run. Tying run at third base. Go ahead run at second. Rowdy into left field. Hicks will make the catch. He's got a strong arm. Here comes Yelich. Great speed. No problem. Hey, we're tied here at five. Brewers have fought their way back. Five unanswered for Milwaukee. And a sacrifice fly at an RBI for Rowdy Telez. All right, stage is set here. We go to the eighth. 
Judge ready to lead off and it's going to be Devin Williams who is pitching in the eighth inning for the first time since the hater trade. Here comes Devin swinging a bouncer hit to short Willie Adamas from deep in the hole throws him out and there's one away two and two the count on John Carlos Stanton and down he goes snuck a fastball by him carved up that outside corner wow good pitch Williams deals and a swing and a miss he struck him out high cheese from Devin Williams a three up three down inning best three Yankee hitters come up Judge Stanton and Torres go down in order. First and second, one out, bottom of the eighth, tied at five. Yelich, a bouncing ball. Torres gloves it, fires it out at second, throw to first, in time for the double play. And the Brewers are convinced Yelich is safe. The ball's overturned. Runner's safe. He's two for three tonight with four rubies. Runners on first and third with two outs. Adamas on the ground, backhanded, bobble, no play in the score here. And the Brewers have the lead. Willie Adamas delivers again. 6-5 Milwaukee. A couple of plays the Yankees do not make in this inning. That's going to go down as an E6. And the Brewers are in front, 6-5. Josh Donaldson will lead off for the Yankees. Hit in the air to deep left. Is it fair? It is a fair ball. <laughs> Josh Donaldson has just tied the game with a long home run to left just inside the bowl. That's Josh, by gosh, and with Panache, and the Yankees tie the game at six. One, two, strike three, and Duhard down looking. He does not like the call. Barking on his way back to the dugout. Well, back to her slider, and it might have not even caught the outside part of the play. It's supposed to be in. You could see Navarez bring the ball back into the strike zone, but I don't know if that caught the outside part. I mean, it's pretty inconsistent. Ocarantini back there. Looks like Boone's going to get yeah. thrown out. He's still arguing about Andujar. You know, supposed to argue balls and strikes. Andy Fletcher, the crew chief, separates him and says, "All right, go back to the dugout." Boy, well, I can't. I can't argue with Booney. I thought uh, the pitch was just outside. That was a walk to Andujar, who kept the inning a lot. Well, what are you going to do? And here we go, 6-6 six, six game. We go bottom of the ninth, and it's going to be the Yankee closer, Clay Holmes, on the pitch. And one of the reasons that the Yankees have struggled since the All-Star break, Holmes has not been very consistent, a 5.29 earned run average. Well, it comes down to this. There's no place to put Mitchell, obviously. Bases loaded with Brewers. Renfro at third is the one that you worry about he's the winning run the rookie steps right into the fire and he swings a line drive up the middle a base hit in the score is Renfro and the Brewers walk off the Yankees really tough loss and Milwaukee wins a wild game by the score of 7-6.